Mifepristone that we prescribe on day one, it is a progesterone receptor antagonist, and we know that the hormone responsible for continuation of pregnancy is progesterone. So, if this progesterone receptors are blocked, the progesterone will not be able to act, and thus it will cause decidual breakdown and detachment of the blastocyst will occur. That is the decidua in which the implantation had occurred. that will break down and this will lead to detachment of the blastocyst secondly it also causes softening of the cervix and third it increases the sensitivity of the myometrium to prostaglandins and thus the dose of mesoprost that is required will decrease thus it causes detachment of the blastocyst as well as aids in its expulsion and once this mifepristone has been given the pregnancy should not be continued because it leads to sirenomyelia in the fetus in this sirenomyelia there is complete lack of amniotic sac there is no fetal stomach gall bladder is not formed and the urinary tract formation is also affected the mnemonic to remember this is a u s g absent amniotic sac absent urinary bladder absent stomach and absent gall bladder so if mifepristone has been given pregnancy cannot be continued now coming to the action of mesoprost and this mesoprost as we know is a prostaglandin that is pge1 it causes uterine contractions and thus it will expel the fetus out and mesoprost is also teratogenic if it is given the pregnancy should not be continued and let's see what are the side effects it can lead to mobius syndrome in which there is palsy of the eyes and facial muscles apart from this there can be limb abnormalities then it can also cause polan syndrome in which the subclavian arterial supply is disrupted and tongue malformations can be associated which will lead to speech difficulties so if medical abortion has been prescribed and it fails that is there is a live intrauterine pregnancy even after 15 days of prescribing a medical abortion then the pregnancy should not be continued and the process of evacuation should be completed by suction evacuation or we can try a repeat dose of medical abortion kit but termination of pregnancy has to be done why because both these agents mifepristone and mesoprostol they are teratogenic and can lead to a range of congenital malformations in the baby born and then i told you that anti d should be given in cases of rh negative pregnancies on day 1 along with mifepristone <music>